If this money that you have doesn't belong to you, but it belongs to God. If, you, if the money you have, according to scripture, now you can say, well, I don't believe that. If that's symbolic and nah, nah, nah. well, good for you. <laughs> but the Bible says that the money, all the money belongs to God. Yeah, so in other words, the money in your bank account is not your money. That's right. What does that mean? You're not the owner of it. What does that mean? That means you are the steward of it. So I can't touch your money. Why can't I not touch your money? Because God has given you charge over, your, over the money in your account, the possessions in your life, because you are the steward of that money. doesn't mean you're the owner of that money. doesn't mean you are the owner of that. You are the steward of it. When Jesus gave the five talents... To the different people, to one he gave this much, or the ten talents, whatever it was. He gave so much to this guy, so much to that guy, so much to that guy. The guy with the one talent came back and said, God, you are, you are, you sow, forgive me, you reap where you do not sow. You are a hard master. And Jesus rebuked, or God rebuked him in the parable. But to the other two guys, he was saying, well... You know, they were saying, oh, I took the money and I brought dividends back. In other words, there was increase on that money. And every time they would bring dividends back, in other words, there was increase on the money, God said this, well done, you good and faithful steward or servant. But the word servant there is the same as steward. So what are you to the possessions you have? You're a steward. You understand what I'm saying? You're a steward. 